So I've always tried to just approach things from a song, approach things from a songwriter standpoint. But was it for you? I mean, did you pursue the career in music? Was that a thing that you trusted maybe that would come someday, or was that something? That I always pushed for that. Um, there were moments when I was, uh, you know, pretty much ready to call it quits, and and not oh, just not not call music quits, but just uh, professional aspirations. Um, there was definitely moments when I was like, you know what, I'll just record these songs like I've been doing for the past few years and, and put them on the internet and have my day job and this will just be my passion, but I'll have to do it you know, when I'm not having to work a day job. So, uh, yeah. what, what was the, the cause of such a doubt maybe? That you um, just feeling like you know, always hitting a brick wall. You know, I, I, had, I had been that person who uh, always tried to educate himself on the music industry and and perfect my craft as a songwriter and and just always be critical of myself just to try to get better all the time um, and you know you there's a lot of stumbling blocks there's a lot of you know hitting walls that feel like they're never gonna break and knocking on doors that never open was, and, it, was it more the business side of it yeah or? yeah absolutely because I mean I was always playing um, but I mean I guess the, the only musical side of that would be just finding band members who were serious you know because Musicians aren't known for being ambitious for, for a lot of times. A lot of them are just known for being, you know, lazy or whatever. Having, you know, wanting, wanting to party more than, than be serious about music. So it was, that part was difficult. But um, I have great guys around me now who, who love what they do and, and who are serious about it. But um, it was more always the, the business side, you know, getting somebody to pay attention. Being in Los Angeles where there's thousands of bands and trying to put your head above the crowd and try to be recognized. Yeah, because that is, that is, of course, how do you describe, do, do you think it's, it's motivating to have this many bands around, or do you think it's... it's no. Yeah, it, it makes, it's hard, I think, nowadays for a band to stand out from the crowd. What, what do you think, what it was, was your... Always, yeah, it was always difficult. I, I never thought it was motivating. I mean, sometimes you, you know, it's not supposed to be a competition, but sometimes you, you, want, you want to make sure that you're better than the next act. You, want to, you don't want to people to go like, oh, that new band was sucked compared to this next band. Um, so you're always trying to be better, but uh, it was always just, you know, the scene in L.A., because there are so many bands, uh, just live music a lot of times isn't appreciated as much. You know, it's kind of just, it's just always there, you know, and there's so many bands trying to do what you do. It's kind of like, you know, daunting. But what for, for you maybe the, the thing, the ingredient that you put into your band now that you thought, well, this is what will set us apart from the rest? Well, I just, you know, I've always tried to just approach, thing from a so approach things from a songwriter standpoint. So it was always about being just honest and passionate and making sure that I'm making songs that when people listen to it, they can feel what I felt when I wrote it. I've always had the same approach. I just think, um, you know, maybe it was fate or destiny the reason that it took so long because it taught me a lot of lessons and helped me to look at things from a more mature and you know reasonable standpoint you know as opposed to if something if things happen really quick maybe i wouldn't but do you prepared. see a lack of that 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 yeah that's uh, that ambition in other bands that you just described yeah i mean there's a lot of bands that are you know they just do it for the sake of playing or yeah you know or they i mean some bands are really serious about their what they're doing and some, some for some people it's you know even though you know when you're when you're struggling and you're trying to make something happen um, it's always on the side because you got to make your money, you know, and there's not really a lot of money to be made in music, especially at that level or even at the level that we're at, you know, where we're this brand new band on the scene. Um, but you can't treat it like that. I mean, you can't treat it as a hobby. You can't treat it as the side thing because otherwise you won't ever be serious about it.